Um, my name is C.C. Yin. I'm the founder and chair of APAPA, API Public Affairs Association. Uh, it's a state and national organization. Uh, I'm invited by the uh, uh, Civic Leadership USA, like Sandy and uh, Anthony here today, to participate uh, in the uh, uh, CLUSA, -C 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 Civic Leadership USA uh, retreat, annual retreat here. I am from California. Um, I'm also a McDonald's owner. And uh, why are you involved in civic in leadership uh, engagement? It was uh, two part as uh, typical Asian immigrants <laughs> coming to America, uh, uh, seeking the uh, uh, American dream, like many. And uh, I went through a lifetime um, uh, learning and struggle and uh, uh, building life here and feel strongly that uh, uh, we as Asian Americans uh, need to uh, uh, continue to help to build a better America, uh, become a more, uh, more fair and more just country for everybody as the founding fathers uh, have uh, put a foundation for us. Um, in that, uh, I've got involved mostly in the communities of my business, personal lives, but more importantly, that I was uh, inspired by the Silicon Valley friends like Sandy Chow, Xin Kong Khan, Xin, Xin Kong Khan Fang, Albert Chan, those folks who started a civic, civic organization called Vision America, and a few others around the Bay Area like uh, um, Kappa and uh, CBC. Uh, then I, I, I learned about that. I thought this is a great thing to give back to America uh, after uh, I fulfilled my personal dream to become a, a good immigrant, build a family and life and a business. So uh, back f 15 years ago, 18 years ago, when uh, uh, California had zero elected Asian Americans in the state capital, Sacramento, so many of us get together, we decide to form a state national foundation uh, to uh, help to uh, change our Asian American, Chinese Americans, uh, American uh, people in the, f the our mentality, our culture to be more uh, giving, more participative in the civic matters and mostly in the government. And in that, uh, be, be, because Vision America and CPC, COPPA, those uh, um, inspiration and leaders that I mentioned earlier, that uh, uh, we agreed to form a foundation, a state national foundation called uh, PAPA, AP American Public First Association. And, and also, along with a PAC on the side, which was founded by Dr. Xin Kuo and, and, and Ken Fong, Sandy Childers folks, along with Vision of New, New America. In that process, so uh, we get together, decide to bring that program to the state national level from Silicon Valley. That was 18 years ago. That we saw in, in the 18 years time, we have grown now to be 25 chapters nationally. Uh, and uh, um, with about 50,000 members, but uh, 500 volunteers. And in California, we have been able to help participate in, in part to help elect about 20 now uh, AP Americans in the state level. Uh, there's uh, 16, 17, yeah, 17 legislators, senators, and, and assembly members, three constitutional officers went up the running for Governor Jiang Chang. Um, and uh, this is uh, uh, now, uh, the, when it comes back to the civic engagement, uh, how, what I'd like to see the change in the future. Uh, I don't think we need a change. We just needed to continue to build uh, the civic leadership programs at the grassroots level, and plus that, uh, uh, and plus the strong participation uh, investment. We need to invest. We need to invest more our resources of Asian American resources, the talent, uh, the voters, and uh, the fundings to do. I said to about three things. One is drastically increase our voters' rate. 
uh, participation. And the second is to uh, build uh, leaderships, the civic leadership, political leaderships, corporate leaderships of Asian Americans, uh, younger generations, our next two generations after us. And the third is to greatly increase um, the uh, appointment of the uh, uh, Asian Americans who are talented in serving the public or taking leadership in the corporate or educational community organizations. And that's, that's the future, but that, that takes huge amount of resources. As a minority Asian Americans, first we have to uh, overcome our own challenges, our, our own cultures, you know, which we're doing that against our own culture and our, uh, our personal uh, habits. So that takes a lot of education effort to change that gradually. The second part is that we have to, like I said, invest a lot more in uh, resources, uh, uh, human resources, talent resources, and financial resources to, uh, um, to uh, continue uh, this, uh, um, this effort of making changes, just like many immigrants before us, the people come from Europe, from Africa, from South America, from uh, Latin countries, now from Asian countries. Uh, this, this which continue to build America, but it does take a huge amount of uh, unity because we Asians uh, have a culture, like to involve work individuals who are the best. So we now need to learn how to work together, called flight together. The theme today is fly together. That's exactly what it is. I think we have everything. We just have to learn how to organize ourselves, build the programs together with diversity of ourselves along with uh, friendship support from and other people, uh, the, the uh, Caucasians, uh, African Americans, uh, Hispanics, everybody else, because we're all on the same boat. We all have the same mission, is build a better America. That that's that's that that is the idea the founding father made to America some 280 years ago, and America is not made yet. It's still been making, but all the immigrants coming here, including us, our our children. That's what I see. I think we come very close now. Uh, you can see California is already set a good model. Uh, you kind of halfway. Uh, that with, uh, um, with this uh, 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 civic leadership of USA and Sandy's uh, um, uh, dream and, and his lifetime uh, passion effort since college, you know. And now with uh, a team together, now it's able to bring us, us all together to work together, this is a good start. I think 2020, election year will be a good year for the Asian Americans to bring everybody together, to bring out the votes out, bring out the people out running for, for offices at the local, state, national level, especially locally. Uh, I want to emphasize the importance of grassroots building, the army building, and the program building, and that's form a foundation for future generations of, uh, of Asian Americans. Uh, to help you build a better America, which is always, I said earlier, is more just, more equal America. That's the f that, that is the principle of the uh, founding father. That's why we all come to America for the same reason. We never come here to take advantage. We just want to be treated fair equally so we can compete fair equally.